good day so this is the first uh, of a few very videos that will supplement uh, the motion presentations so NX motion in this first section we'll get started on just creating sketches and components so this is the NX interface if it's the first time you're installing um, you might get some welcome message in this case mine is already off so we can get started by going to this new tab and selecting that then we've got a few options here in this case we're only going to create a model so here we can specify the folder where the model should be um, saved and then we can also say model 1 so I can just type in there demo 1 and I can say OK upon selecting OK I will get, go into the modeling environment what's important to note is here at the top it says modeling so this this indicates which application of NX you are in uh, in later videos we'll start using other applications in this case we're only going to use modeling so many different ways that you can create geometry in NX um, we're going for the simplest way in this case and we're just going to say we have some sketches here and I can select let's go with a rectangle if you look at the different options for the rectangle the one two and three denotes the clicks that are required so I'm going to say I want to start the rectangle from the center and now I can select on which plane I would like to uh, place this rectangle if you want to select a specific plane be sure that you click on the on the plane outline so I want to put it on let's say this plane and if I now go to the top view um, you can set it here in view that would be top and you can also see that if you press control alt T that will also take you to the top so then I can as you can see my uh, cursor snaps to the sketch origin and I can do a first left mouse click and then I can move the line outwards and if I click again now I can set the width so first one was to set the length second one is to set the width I can click again and that accepts those those changes okay so now you can right click and say okay which just takes you out of the out of the um, the rectangle sketch options um, and now we can also as you can see here uh, by default NX creates uh, um, automatic dimensions so if I take you here to this side you can see continuous auto dimensioning so this is just the way in which NX constrains its sketches so if I double click this value now I can change it to maybe 150 and I can press enter and can press close so now you can see this is now going to be a driven dimension so if I click and drag this line it's not going to move anywhere because I specified this dimension however if I click and drag this line it will still be moved because this is still just an inferred uh, dimension it's it's not driving the sketch so we're going to go over into making this a solid solid piece of geometry and we can say finish sketch so you'll see you, uh, sometimes people want to select uh, different features to create but they're still active in their sketch just make sure that you're not active in your sketch um, or that if sometimes you want to select something um, and it won't make you it doesn't enable you to select that then you can just go to finish sketch which is there will be a button there I'll quickly show you so I can quickly go back into this sketch by double clicking it and you can see all of the lines are green now meaning this is the active sketch you can see they've got this active uh, this finish sketch button over here you can also finish the sketch by right clicking finish sketch or just up there finish sketch so let's go to the extrude um, you'll see that if you want to revolve some geometry you can also do that here so there's extrude and revolve so let's go with extrude and I can select this curve sorry I middle mouse clicked which means I close the dialog okay so in the extrude uh, dialog I can click and drag this line that's the the stop I can also um, click and drag the start point 
So you can see that you don't have to extrude from the plane where you are creating. You can insert some values there. You can specify a vector there. It's important to realize that most dialogues have this option, which is just some quick ways to select uh, to select options in creating a a, um, a vector, or in some cases, it helps you to select. So in this case, we'll use there's just an inferred vector, and that's just normal on that on that plane. So I can select that again, and here we can see there's some there's a this little triad. I can select it that way. That will obviously not create. Um, geometry because it's not moving out of plane so the best option in this case would be this z-axis I'm just going to change this back to zero and you can see that then my start points back on zero and we can say okay we can select these settings okay so the next thing we can add some features to this so let's say we add some some fillets so in this case it's called an edge or edge blend so I can select edge blend and this will now enable me to create some um, blends on, on, on these edges. So uh, what I mean by that is, you, you can see in this case, it just rounds the edge. So I can click and drag this around. I can do that on multiple edges. So let's do it like that. And again, to apply this, I can just say OK. So another one, if we want to add a hole, can select this hole. And this will now allow me to create a hole at a spe specified point. And in this case, uh, I'm just going to use these arcs as uh, arc centers as as my points. So you can see it already. Um, well, it snaps to this point because I have arc center selected here. If I do not have arc center selected, it's quite difficult to select the arc center. So I just select there. I can select there. Those are just left clicks, and in this case, I can say depth limit. In this case, it's set to value, so it's only going to go 50 mils in. So let's go value through body. You say OK. So those holes are straight through. OK, and that concludes this first section on creating geometry.